guys and welcome to this video, Yuri is here and today we're gonna talk about HTML5 element that totally changed the way that web graphics and especially dynamic web graphics work and it impacted HTML5 game development in a huge, huge, huge way. And of course, this element is canvas. This is our way to draw graphics. So you saw in the previous videos, I've built a little game that is a multiplayer game, but it was using just standard HTML5 forms. However, for a proper game that you will want to show and share with your friends, you will probably want some graphics and animation and special effects. And all this is possible with help of Canvas. So I'll tell straight away, this video is not a tutorial, we'll not go through the details of the Canvas API. We will go through the details, but in the next videos. In this video, my goal is just to show you guys what you can technically achieve with Canvas and explain a little bit how it works. So without further ado, let's jump in and see how Canvas look. And here it is, guys. Meet Canvas. Wait, there's nothing on the screen? That's right, there is nothing on the screen, nothing that you can see on the screen, but there is a canvas on the screen. So if you go and inspect your elements here, you will see that canvas is here in place. But canvas by default, it's blank. There's nothing there. And in order to show something in canvas, you need to use some JavaScript, write some code to tell canvas what exactly you want to draw. So right now I'm gonna go and write this little hello world in canvas. I will just display a black rectangle to show you guys the principle of how you make things appear on that canvas. So I'll jump in into my code, I'll add a script tag here. Of course, I wouldn't do that on the real project, but for this little demo, it will just do. And uh, I'll find my canvas element. And from that canvas element, I need to extract something that is called a context. So canvas can support different kind of styles of graphics. It can support 2D graphics, it can support 3D graphics. So initially, we need to tell what exactly is the graphics that we will work with. And here, as you see, I'm taking 2D context, meaning that I will work with 2D graphics. Now, having 2D context, I can start drawing. So what this code does, it takes the context and tells it to draw a rectangle that has a top left corner in the points 10, 10, and it has the width of 100 and height of 100. It will use the default color that is black to render it. So if I did everything correctly, you should now see a rectangle on the screen. And here it is. Here's our very basic HTML5 canvas demo that can draw stuff. And of course, from this point on, you can evolve further and build all kinds of applications that are interactive, that are using images and animations to make your game, to implement your game. So right now, I want to show you several demos that I built that show the different capabilities of Canvas. So, all right, so you've got a black rectangle. Obviously, you can change colors and you can make the other kind of rectangles and you can react on events. So your Canvas can be interactive. It can do things like this. You can track mouse pointer and track the click events or touch events if you're working on the mobile phone and you can make things move on the canvas. Next, um, if you have an image, you can draw it on the canvas. Or if you have a set of images like this one that shows a little animation frame by frame, what you can do, you can re-render canvas fast enough to make it look like an animation. That's how animation works. So you see here, my little character moves and it's also all done in JavaScript, all done in canvas. Let's move on. What else we can do? Well. We can go and put several images that form this little terrain to make it like an RPG background, right? And you can imagine you can combine the animations of the character together with this background and together with mouse clicks that move the background. And here's your little stop for your next role playing game. And you can move even further instead of doing this top down projection, you can take the different kind of images and make a, this kind of a projection that is known as isometric projection. So if you played old Diablo games, they use this kind of a projection. But then you might be thinking, well, and uh, what else I can do? Maybe 2D is not a limit. And of course it is not because 3D is just a special case of 2D. There is nothing in 3D that you cannot do with 2D primitives. And you can start drawing things like uh, these flying cubes. This was done by the way, purely mathematically with no additional engines. And if you want to go even further, you can use something like WebGL and use your graphic card to accelerate and render your graphics. And then you can go and build like a fully functional 3D game like uh, 
this little demo shows just the animation part, but you can think about the bigger game that you can build using the same techniques. Of course, this demo that I'm showing you right now is in a totally different league. So it's using Unity 3D game engine to build this game. However, this game is rendered on the normal HTML5 canvas as well. So even though building such a game gonna be quite a large project, it is still possible because the game rendering engine remains the same. It's your well-known HTML5 canvas. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this little introduction to our canvas. And if you guys want to learn how to build games using canvas, how to build uh, animations and special effects and graphics in web with the help of canvas, just subscribe to my channel. And in the upcoming videos, we'll start working with canvas and writing code that makes canvas live. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and press that like button. I really appreciate it and see you guys soon. Bye.